Hi everyone, this is Coach Matt. In this video, we're going to talk about offense and specifically a team concept for entering the offensive zone that I like to call puck wide middle drive. This is a concept that can include three or four players. You may hear coaches refer to the same concept as the middle lane driver or the center lane drive. Let's start with first establishing some basic principles around what is offense. We define offense to be when we have clear possession of the puck. It doesn't matter where we are on the ice. If we have the puck, we are on offense. Building on that, good offense happens when all teammates are working together to create options that improve our chance to score. This means the puck carrier and the players playing without the puck. Let's look a little deeper at what good offense looks like for the puck carrier. Good offense happens when you have your head up and are scanning the ice. When scanning, the puck carrier is looking for two key things. The first is, where is the pressure? And by this, we mean, where are the opponents? How are they challenging us or pressuring us? The second thing we're looking for is, where is your help? And this means, where are your teammates? Where is the open ice? And where are their passing lanes or shooting lanes? The next step is about using the information that you collect from scanning to make a good decision quickly. Whether that's deci deciding to skate to open ice, to make a pass, or some other action, it's important for the puck carriers to quickly make a good decision. And lastly, once you decide what you're going to do, it's important for the puck carrier to execute their plays well. For our teammates without the puck, the core, principle, the core principles of good offense are similar. And it all starts with scanning the ice. When playing without the puck, you scan the ice to gather information. To keep it simple, we're scanning for two things. Where is the pressure? And where is the help? Additionally, good offense for teammates without the puck also includes communicating with each other to share information. After you scan to gather information, it then becomes all about making a good decision quickly. Our team concepts help guide you on what decisions you should make with the information that you've gathered. And of course, once we decide what action we're gonna do, it's important that we execute that action well. Now, let's look at the team concept for zone entry. In this diagram, we see a basic three on two with the offense getting ready to enter the offensive zone. Good offense starts with scanning the ice to identify where the pressure is and where there's help. As the diagram shows, all three forwards should be able to see that the pressure is in the middle of the ice because that's where the two defenders are. The help is to the outside, both in terms of teammates and open ice. Using that information to make a good decision quickly, we want to get the puck wide to the outside because that'll give our puck carrier more time and space to make a good play. In the diagram, we see F2 pass the puck to F1 so F1 can enter the zone to the open ice. This is what we mean by the phrase puck wide. F1 carries the puck in wide to the open ice, and this gives her time and space to scan and make her next decision. Meanwhile, the second part of this team concept is the middle drive. In this diagram, we see this with F2, who drives hard and fast up the middle of the ice to the front of the net. The purpose of the middle driver is to force the opposing defense to sink back to their net. Take a second and pause this video and think about why we want to do that. The reason for the middle drive is to force the opposing defense to sink back to the net. And that's so we can create open ice in the high slot for our third forward, F3, to skate into. This puts F3 in a great position to receive a pass from F1 and get off a good quality shot on net. With F3 filling into the high slot, our team has worked together to give our puck carrier options. F1 could con continue to carry the puck wide and try to beat the defender and get to the net. Or another option would be to pass to F2 who is driving to the net, especially if they get around and behind the weak side defenseman. And of course, another option, as we mentioned, is F1 could stop, pull up, and make a pass to F3 in the high slot. This is good offense. Let's watch a video of this team concept in action.
The puck carrier sees the two defenders have the middle covered and works to enter the offensive zone with the puck wide, carrying it to the open ice, which will give her more time and space to gather more information and to make her next decision. Number eight in red, watch her. As the puck carrier goes wide, number eight drives fast down the middle lane. Watch how she forces the weak side defender to sink back to the net. This opens up a lot of space in the high slot for F3. The puck carrier ends up choosing to take a shot on net instead of passing to F3. But the key takeaway here is how the three players work together as they enter the offensive zone to, to create options that will improve their chance to score. We've emphasized having our weak side D join our rushes, which will lead to situations where we enter the offensive zone with four players attacking. This is great because it gives us another option. Typically, the fourth player will enter the zone on the strong side of the ice, and usually near the dot lane, which means they're going to be entering sort of in line with the faceoff dots. This puts F4 in a great position to support the puck carrier if the puck carrier loses the puck along the boards or to also be another passing option, especially if a back checker has picked up F3. Here is a picture of a puck wide middle drive with four attackers. We see F1 has pulled up along the boards. F2 is driving to the net, forcing the opponent's defense to sink. And F3 has entered the high slot. F4 is joining the attack as another option. Key things to remember. When we have the puck, we're on offense. Good offense happens when all players are working together to create options that improve our chances to score. Key principles of good offense include scanning the ice to gather information, using that information to make a good decision quickly, and then executing on those decisions. And then lastly, the team concept of puck wide, middle drive, and the roles and responsibilities for each of the players involved in that play. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the rink.